Wait, well, you don't want to be in this? Uh, I don't want them to know. You don't want to be in this? <laughs> Hey, I'm not paying for that broken arm. There's no workers' comp here. Yeah, okay? Sorry, man. I'm Asian. We don't know what workers' comp is. All we know is you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you, wait, you got hurt? Down. You workers got hurt? Competition. Wait, you work here? You got hurt? You, you don't work here. Not on paper. <laughs> okay, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Pool of Misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only pool you've ever been yes, in. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Welcome back to another episode of Pool Misinformation. Check this out, guys. Had a lot of in-store requests. Everybody comes in, they go, oh, whose bike, whose bike? Well, I think Alf, how long ago did you work here? 17 years ago. This was here? Yeah. Yeah. So I've had this bike. I'm not the original owner, but I've had this bike well more than 20 years. And my younger brother actually raced this thing at the Orange Y also. Are you guys wondering what it is? This is a 1988 Auburn Cycle. Check it out. Check all the good features. So let me give you guys a little insight on this, okay? I'm not out there, you know, reading, researching, doing that. I'm just telling you out of the the whatever knowledge I have in this small cranium of mine. But Auburn Cycle was created by Bob Morales. Bob Morales, like, I don't know if you guys ever watch any of the older videos. I seriously worship the man. He's a very underrated guy. He is the guy that helped develop so many brands. Dino, Auburn Cycles, um, Iron Horse, Morales Bikes. I mean, it goes on. Uh, I think the AFA, uh, some of you guys, I, I remember some of you guys chimed in and, and get, like, he did so much stuff, I can't remember it all. But guys, I don't know, a lot of you guys know, and some of you guys are going to get pretty pissed off because you're going to be like, ah, this guy, he just, he just a poor misinformation. And he, that, you know what? To the best of my knowledge, guys, I've never said I know everything. Best of my knowledge. If you guys notice one cool thing about this, look at the first feature, this tube, and notice how it bends. You guys look familiar? Well, that is because if you guys look at the dyno tube, Ben, wait a second. Didn't Bob Morales also was the founder of dyno? And wait, didn't dyno come out around 85-ish, 84 around there? And this came out around 88. So yes, guys. The dyno was basically, you know, a dyno, but a race version of it. I know some of you guys go, no, it's not, no, it's not. You know, there's a VFR, there's the NSX. Yes, 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 those are technically dyno. But guys, the Auburn, since it came from Bob Morales, it had to have some sort of influence like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Come on. It's too much of a coincidence. You know, I know I I've reached out to Bob on IG and all that, he doesn't respond, probably because he knows it's me and nobody likes me. But you guys, you guys would have to agree, right? Look, so I'm going to stick to my story. I'm gonna say that the Auburn is basically another version of the Dino. But also you guys have to look, you guys go, wait, wait, but this two piece. Well, the two piece was designed being inspired by motorcycle. And if you guys follow Bob Morales, he's very big into motorcycle. He's very big into motorcycles, so this was inspired by that from way back then. Later on, when Auburn evolved a little bit more, if you guys notice, this one right here, the bend would go all the way past the seat and it'll turn down right there. That is the second generation. The first generation, the bend always happens before the seat tube. That's how you guys can tell what year was what. The first generation, the bend before the seat tube. Second generation, the bend after that. Then after that, they also make, this thing is chromoly. They also make an aluminum version, which was called the, the works link. I actually wanted one of those, but you know what? Couldn't afford it, it was a little pricey. But the works links was an aluminum rear end. Um, I don't think they made a lot of those. That's why you guys don't see a lot of those. 
the fork if you guys notice also how it extends down here i also think that was also motorcycle inspired again this is my opinion because knowing how, like how bob morales his background with motorcycle it was a motorcycle inspired if you guys are familiar with the botima fork it extends all the way down here more but they they slightly changed that i need some of you guys help out there to tell me but i know they made a 24 inch version they made a 24 inch version of this i don't know how many they made i don't think they made a first version they made a second generation version of the 24 inch now all those other ones you guys see out there the 26 the 29 all that all repop after the fact but during this time i've never ever in that in in the past saw a 24 but i've seen it on the internet i've seen it pop up here and there so you guys i need you guys to help me with that somebody confirm that with me so next thing we're going to go after we talk about the frame you look at the red line flights red line flight single pinch wrap around so this is the original crank i had on there original pedal the sprocket is not original the original one my friend was restoring a bike and he really wanted the original one so i hooked him up that's what friends are for guys no, he just, it was just a good way of getting rid of him because he keep begging me. Wheels, I don't remember where I got it. All I know is that I had the wheels because red was my favorite color. But guys, I don't know too much about this hub, but this, but this is not a typical free wheel. It is a free wheel, but it's not a cassette, but it's not the typical free wheel. This is a Shimano. Again, guys, somebody fill me in on this. I don't know too much. The rim is a Rhea, I know that, but the hub, I've seen it on a couple other old school bikes before, but I don't know the whole story behind it and the technology of the, the, the free wheel type. It's not the typical screw in. I don't know, some of you guys, some of you guys are nodding your head, some of you guys are confused. I'm one of the confused guys. So the guy nodding your head, hey, chime in. I would love to help, the help from you guys. The tires, these are not the original tires I had on here. The original tires that, that was on here was Comp 3s. You can't, it's so hard to find authentic Comp 3s. So this was the closest one I got on it. Hey. Bye, Mom. Mom. Hey. Where's the meatloaf, Mom? Meatloaf. Oh, dude. Okay, man. You guys, you, some of you Asian guys know, man. She almost, she's going to throw her shoe at me. Okay. We got the, the original Tauga Bear Trap headset. DK, the DK stem. Now this is this isn't the really old one, but you can tell if the back is angular instead of round, it's I would say the second gen. The first gen, the cap is square. Second gen, power light aluminum power bend. You know, you got the bend grips. You know, they claim it makes you ride better. You know, I didn't it I, it didn't it didn't help with me. It didn't help me ride any better. My dad actually thought it was bent. Yeah, good old Asian dad. Uh, this is not my original seat. One, I had a really badass customer go, you know what, I have an extra one. It will really go with this. Put this on here and also the s &M rod. My original seat I had on here was, oh God, I think I still have it. I think I still have it, I think I still have it. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Nope. <laughs> Just random stuff, guys. What is this? The, the Suntour VX. Man, I bet you some of you guys are gonna see this. Go, hey man, let's dig out all your stuff. Wait, wasn't that an idea you had? Al said, hey, let's go through your stuff. And I said, no, I don't want to go through it. Uh, man, I don't know what happened to it. But uh, I had a dude. Did somebody take it? Well, I had a Uni Turbo seat. Oh, oh man, I wish I, I have it here to show you guys. Any you guys remember what a uni... <laughs> where? Where is it? Hey! Sensor. <laughs> where, where did this come from? This isn't mine. What the? <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta blur this out. Uh. Well, Max. yeah. <laughs> what? Max! Where did this come from? What the? Oh my God! I yeah. Um, dude, I don't. Guys, what happened to my uni seat? 
probably right next to the, the unibrow. Hey, hey, hey. What are you talking about when you say unibrow? <laughs> okay, I guess we lost it, guys. But there was a seat here, but we did find something really cool treasure, though. Uh, let's uh, let's forget about that magazine. But yeah, there's a, there a turbo uni, uh, uni seat that was on there that I originally have. Now, if you guys can see, there's no brakes because I keep saying I'm gonna restore it, I'm gonna restore it. I wanna restore it to make it look like it was the, the T model. The one with the super, the GT super lace, which we have, where's the super lace? Uh, right there, Alf. You see it? You guys, can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Can you see, can you see it? Kind of? Yeah. So you guys are probably, oh my God, he has, a, yeah, I have a couple of those guys. I just want to throw out there. But those on here will be super error correct. Um, I want to put uh, the GT uh, Power Series. Uh, but I, I really like the Red Line Flights because this thing has been with me for a while. So, um, uh, looking for some pro bars, so I gotta find that. So, I will restore this, I just don't have time, like, like I said earlier. Since Alf known me, this thing has just been kind of like laying around. Really don't even pedal it. I, I do have the pit bulls that I have uh, hidden somewhere that we're gonna throw on there. But yeah, but guys, some of you guys are probably asking, going, dude, you know what, why did Auburn stop? Why did they stop? You know what, I don't know the story, but all I know is that Bob ended up selling it to Gary Turner. That's why a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh yeah, Gary Turner owned it. No, when Bob started Dino, GT ended up acquiring Dino. Then he went and started Auburn, and then GT acquired Auburn, because why? During that time, GT, they were the mogul. They had all the machineries, they had the marketing, so they had it done. Bob, Bob, you know what? Like you guys, you guys go out there and search up Bob Morales and read up. There's not that much about him, but when you guys find out, you guys can really admire this guy. But he's not always been about the money. The guy's always been about creating stuff, and he, he's uh, he created really, really cool stuff like this. So yeah, a lot of you guys, there you have it. You guys are always asking, hey, what is up with this? What is up with this? Yep, this is my personal one. Um, but yeah, I would say this is officially the first dyno race bike right i mean am i wrong so there you guys have it hey guys i appreciate you guys you guys have been great keep up with the question i know on here i don't always say the right stuff but we're doing this as a community so if you guys if i said something wrong correct me because there's people out there that doesn't know anything and we're there to help them so you guys know something let me know and then i'll let you know and Help each other. Help me help you. Instead of going there and then just talking bad stuff. All right. Um, like, hate, subscribe. Um, I think the next one we're going to do is I got a special treat for you guys. It also has to do with a dyno. It's a real, real special treat. So you guys stay tuned. Thank you.